Sasa Prime Minister atakawa mamlaka na rais. Kwa hivyo pale juu tuko sorted. Although naona tu uh, Prime Minister ni kama ile kiti ya majority leader because he appointed by the president from the majority party. But anyway, tumekubali. President anagawa mamlaka na Prime Minister. Nani atagawa mamlaka na governor? Kutakuwa na Prime Governor. Nani atagawa mamlaka na mbunge? Nani atagawa mamlaka na MCA? Senator na women rep? Tutakuwa na Prime Senator ama Prime Women rep? Saa zingine, musitucheza ati sisi tuko wajinga. Tunaelewa hii maneno bana. Kama kiongozi ya meshinda, hii ni competition, the winner should take everything. In fact, tunaeza wangazia ya glukos kwa sababu ya kuchoka na kufanya kazi mingi ya kushinda. Lakini kuja kutuambia ati there will be no winner, there will be no loser. Si mukaya bazi kwa meza mukawa hizi maviti badala kutumia mabilioni ya pesa yetu kufanya uchaguzi ambawa kutakuwa na loser. Mcheza atutaki. Yeah, it is coward. Uh, and it have brought some positions. It have created some position which I believe it is for inclusivity because for me, I don't talk on my behalf. I talk on behalf of the 6.5 million Kenyans with disabilities uh, whom they have seen as if there is nothing for them in that particular report. I believe the position the Prime Minister will be reserved for a person with disability because we are not talking about ethnic inclusivity because if you talk about ethnic inclusivity and you have only created uh, three more positions, it will only mean then you will be including only uh, three more communities leaving out more than that seven other tribes in this country. So I believe uh, inclusivity will mean that uh, the affirmative action groups, such as the women, youth and persons with disability, will be considered. Uh, and I want our president, because uh, my president really won inclusivity and won uh, the country to get united. And we can start even from now. Even before we implement the, uh, the BBI, we can easily achieve uh, unity as a country if we decide in this manner that now that we have a president who is a Kikuyu, we have a deputy president who is a Kalenchin, then let all cabinet positions be filled by other uh, tribes other than uh, the two tribes. Let us have PS positions and CEOs of parastatals being filled by other groups. So the president can start and can lead from the front by ensuring that we don't repeat a mistake that was repeated in the cabinet that we have now. We have three cabinet secretaries, namely Tujo, uh, Magoa, and Omamo from one county, that is Siaya. Not only from Luonyanza, but from one county. So if we can distribute these positions, now that we have a president with a Kalen uh, Kikuyu, we have a deputy president with a Kalenchin, and uh, we also ha uh, we can now have cabinet secretaries from other other tribes, so that we don't have a Kikuyu, we don't have a Kalenjin, we don't have principal secretary, we don't have a CEO of a parastatal sitting in the cabinet who is a Kikuyu or a Kalenjin because they have the head of state and the deputy president respectively. I think that is how we can achieve inclusivity. And I also want to tell my president that uh, Kenya have always been united pre, during and post election. It is only that there is one single denominator of violence who have never accepted the outcome of election. And whenever his name appears in the ballot box, that is Raila Amolo Odinga, there must be, be violence. In 2007, we know. In 2013, his name was there. In 2017, his name was there. But when his name was not there in 2002, and there was a change of regime, there was a succession politics, we never had violence because Kenyans are always united. So even if now we increase positions, we may only be increasing the magnitude of violence because now it will be not one person rejecting the outcome of election, but several people who have been promised positions rejecting the outcome of uh, election, and that means more violence. So I, uh, we, as much as we do support the, the, the BBI, we also want to know what will we do for those people who are down there. We don't have 42 tribes in Kenya, we have two tribes, they have and they have not. We have to have a conversation around the have and the have not. The have, how did you acquire your wealth? Is it through corruption? Shambe nyokonayo, umetoa wapi? Uli nyanyaza wanainji wa Kenya? Na wala ambao wana, ni sisi ndiyo tumeaka sheria ambao inawafinyilia chini, ama kunanjia ya kuainua juu.